your news on the go. Back in court this morning, the man accused of shooting three people at a Denny's in Salina last month, Justice Holmes, is now facing up to 50 years in prison for charges including attempted murder and assault after he injured three people with a legally owned handgun. Police say that he had been arguing with his ex-girlfriend who was in the restaurant. He is due back in court at the end of the month. Well, gathering to fight for call center jobs, one group was demonstrating in Syracuse today after AT&T announced that it's moving more than 150 positions out of state from its customer and call center on South Clinton Street in the city. The group is now pushing for New York State to pass a new bill to protect local jobs and stop AT&T from getting tax breaks after moving positions away. Well, happening now, a group in Syracuse is gathering to dig a little deeper into the debate over Interstate 81 and the possible effects of plans to update the viaduct. It's happening at the Syracuse Center of Excellence until 1.30, with speakers presenting the most up-to-date information on a recent impact statement. Now, this is all to help inform people about the social, the economic, and the environmental issues at play and what changes could mean for people living in and around the city of Syracuse. Helping you unpack what the terms and conditions mean, New York State is now launching a program to inform people what they're agreeing to when they sign up for online sites and services. Governor Andrew Cuomo says the Division of Consumer Protection will dig through companies' terms of service and then make policy recommendations to make sure users are protected. They're going to start with Venmo, which is